Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Joe and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we're going to be starting the first of our playthrough of the Radical Red uh, 4.0 normalized, uh, sorry, normal randomized Nuzlocke. Um, my goal is to have these 30 minute episodes. We'll try to do them um, more frequently than we stream. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bulk recording today, so there will be a bunch ready. Um, but basically, uh, normal Nuzlocke rules apply. You can only catch the first encounter in each route. We are going to take gift Pokemon. We are going to take static Pokemon. Um, the eggs, for example, in Celadon, we're going to get one of each one. So we're going to go through and we're going to build the list out um, and make sure that we get one of every type. Um, dupe Claws is in effect, meaning I can catch a dupe if I want. Shiny Claws is also in effect, meaning if I run into a shiny on the same route that I've already caught a Pokemon, I can catch the shiny, um, but I must... Uh, give up the other encounter um we are going to be doing this as a dex lock as well so we're going to be using the dex nav to get the best possible pokemon in each row um, and i did set this up so that it is a an easy catch uh cheat in so we will catch everything um that's just more fun for me personally um especially since we're going to be catching things like ultra beasts um and things that are typically very very challenging to catch so I've already gone through, put all the codes in, um, randomized everything. And so let me get the music going here in the background. Down just a hair. And uh, we will get started. So when we actually go through battles, I will be using docs. I have the calculators up and everything else. Um, and I have a different uh, scene for that. So we'll do that. Like I said, I've already gone ahead and uh, grabbed the uh, codes. So I have those all input um, already. For us to start, uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, I'm not going to be doing a save state and resetting. Um, I've already passed that point, uh, so we are just going to see what three we have here. Okay, Rafty, <laughs> uh, Meowstic. Um, I think honestly, my Best bet might be Tortuga. We'll call you Turtle. Actually, no, we're going to call you Lapis. Okay. So our rival got Charmander. Let me just note that down. Took and now we'll battle. Whoa, Seismitoad, really? Um, I might not win this. I did, by the way, uh, randomize both the species and the learn sets, or not the learn sets, the abilities as well. Um, for those of you that are new to this, what that means is basically uh, we will not necessarily get the original ability on any of our Pokemon. Um, it also means, however, that we can't change the abilities until we get to Saffron. And you only get basically two abilities if a Pokemon can get a hidden ability and a regular ability. Um, so, with that being said, uh, obviously that's a little bit of a, a drag since we do have access to like ability pills and stuff, um, but it does make it more fun. Okay, time changer. Um, so those of you that are new to Radical Red, Radical Red is a um, difficulty hack uh, created for, ooh, that's a good mon to have in this row, um, based on the fire red kind of base image. Um, it has all Pokemon up to Gen 9 in it now. Um, there are some legendaries that you cannot catch. Um, but generally, everything is available to you. Um, there's a bunch of uh, enhancements to quality of life. You'll see here in a little bit um, what some of those are. Okay, so we're going to make you adamant. Um, things like being able to get rare candies. Then there are certain uh, technologies that are available to you. One that's called like the Pokevial, where you can heal outside of a Pokemon Center up to six times. Um, you get the Dex Nav, of course. Uh, you get different um, uh, gifts and stuff as well. And of course, we have our candies here. So, again, um, our 
Uh, Nuzlocke doesn't start until we have balls, which will be shortly. We are going to collect a few things before we do that. I'm just going to get you up to level 15. And we we'll place water gun. So in Viridian City, you'll note that they've added grass here, which is awesome, of course. Here, grab the wise glasses, face her. So there are puzzles that are created in this game to get things like the Poke Vial, for example. Um, so for this one, uh, we're going to go Aaron, Gibble, and Discovery. Rock. Let it take us down. Gibble. It's going to take us out. Rough skin. Cool. And then Stealth Rock will knock out the rest. We get to you, and then we do go pack. Sturdy, draw pack, finish. Okay. So now we have the Poke Vial. Um, so there's this new menu on. The, for me, it's the left trigger here. You can see auto run, uh, Poke Vial Time Changer. Then there's an infinite repel that we'll get once we get through the green forest. Let's come over here and grab this repel, which we'll use. We'll grab the old rod here as well. Let's go and uh, register that. And then let's go grab the parcel. So, I mean, for the most part, this is standard uh, fire red. Um, one of the big differences, though, is that there are a lot harder battles. Um, so a lot of teams have uh, fully competitive move sets. Um, a lot of the teams have uh, coverage moves for weaknesses and stuff like that. Um, so it's really fun. Uh, I really enjoy this game. I think it's, uh, it's a really good time. I've been having a lot of fun with it as well. Just generally, I've been playing it outside of um, you know, the obviously outside of streaming, so um, anyways, so yeah, uh, let's see. And you have there we go. sorry, I just remembered I needed to record some things, write that some things down. Okay, so they also changed some of the maps as well. So, for example, there's now this access to this road down here. So you have early game access to some mons down there. Obviously, only old rod fishing and the grass. Um, now, before we jump into this grass here, we are going to um, let's back up. We are going to throw this repel down so that we can get through this grass without getting an encounter because this is a nuzlocke. So if we didn't do that, um, whatever uh, our encounter was that we first saw, we have. So really want that. Okay. Um, so this is the first of our care packages. Uh, so we get the dex nav here, of course, and then we get a whole bunch of additional items. This is normal mode, so there are going to be slightly lower level caps than in hardcore mode. Um, the teams are going to be slightly easier though as well. Um, so for example, um, just over to the uh, right of, or to the left of Viridian City, we have Route 22, of course, uh, the rival battle there, we have a level nine and a level nine. So that's always fun. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, okay, so the dex nav here. So we already have a water rock type, so I don't think I want Amistar. Um, and then of course we do have uh, some fishing encounters. There's Scuda, not that good, or Geist. Okay. okay. Mag Mortar could be good, but I'm also a little bit hesitant. Tropius is a double weakness to ice. Let's and let's see if we change our time to night. And we'll take a look at our dex now here now. Okay. And I'm like, ooh, Lucario. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scout some of these routes really quick just to make sure that I don't miss anything that I really want first. So let's check the dex now over here. Ooh, we can get a Froki. Okay, I guess we can. Thunderous wouldn't be bad, and Incineroar is fantastic. Wall Rain is fantastic. Uh, Grookey is amazing. Um, even though we wouldn't have access to uh, Rillaboom quite yet. Let's check out. Uh, 
here. Um, so I really think that probably our best bet over here... Rookie is good, Incineroar is fantastic though. Let's, uh, let's go up here and just see what we have on Route 2. Okay, so we have Artabax. Here we go. I mean, Artabax is fantastic. Um, so I think if I'm gonna get something there, I'm gonna get the Artabax. And then there's a Mew up here and a Glastrier. You is a fast, you know, 600 base stat total mon. Okay, let's um, let's head down to Route One. See what's in Route One. No King Snivy is that? Oh no, it's a few. The last of the two. Okay, uh, Artabax is down here as well. Riolu is down here. Okay. Think. Perhaps Snivy might be a good, because Superior is amazing. And Leo King is great. A lot of weaknesses there. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna catch a Snivy. You will be Slithers? Simple. Hmm, that's good. Okay. So that's our Route 1 Mon. Okay, let's get you leveled up. Um, then there's a bunch of uh, learn sets that we'll get as well. Um, so we'll get into that once we get closer to the next set of learns, learn moves. see what we have in Pallet Town. And I've done a few things in the past where like I've basically uh, held off on my encounter here until I could get a better rod. I mean, a, a Psychic Flying Articuno is not bad. Cricketune is fantastic for the early game, however. So it may be that I just wait for that. Yeah, though I'm pretty much guaranteed that Articuno. Let's see what's in 21 here. Ooh, a Jirachi. Toxel. Hmm. Okay. Let's change it tonight and see what else we have. Ooh, Del Fox. So that could get me my Grookey. I could use that to justify getting the Grookey because Del Fox, I think, I like more than Incineroar, even though they're both great. Yeah, I think I have to go for Del Fox here. Surge though, that's junk. Box. Surge. And once we get to uh, once we get to it, I will be. Uh, we're gonna call you Magi. I call it Foxes. Um, once we get to it, we are going to um, be using the calculator, so I'll be putting in like all the information about each of these bonds, which will take me a few seconds. I'll probably do that off screen um, and then uh, go from there. Let's see, you guys don't have to sit through it. Incinerate over Ember. Okay, so we have our Pallet Town. No, we don't have our Pallet Town yet. So let's let's catch the Articuno. Wait, what? I guess we have a Talo instead. I was sworn the only catch here was. Um, so you're going to be Peck. Pecky? As in, like, Becky only with a P. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Well, I mean, a Talo isn't terrible. 
and it will evolve and get different sets. So I did not expect that to happen. That was dumb on my part. I should have guaranteed the Rikuno if I could have, but well. Okay, so we have our route one. So now we get to go do all of the other routes around here, including the forest, which will be fantastic. So we won't get it obviously until later, but um, I definitely think in Viridian here, I go for the Riolu, right? Or the uh, Lucario rather. It was my other option. Yeah, I think Lucario is the way to go here. So now, so we're gonna register you. Okay, we're gonna catch this. You're gonna be fists. Save. Let's go where candy him up. That moves. Well, I really can't complain. Our punch. Yes. Okay. And what was your ability? Stench. Okay. Completely useless ability, so Lucario, Stench. Completely useless. Okay, let's come over here. Now, what do we say our encounter we wanted over here was? I mean, again, Grookey is great, but there's also this Thunderous, though I think Thunderous won't learn much. Um, my daytime encounters here again. So, I guess I can't turn down the Thunderous. So let's do Thunderous, even though that might be a bad move. We're going to do it anyways. Um, you are going to be Bolt. Okay. Let's see what your ability is. Super Lock! Okay, that's not a terrible ability. It's not super great on him, but... Thunderous. Uh, super Lock. level you up. And I think what we'll do is we'll take on our rival here as well. It's really quick. Um, so he's going to have a Starly and um, his starter. So a Starly, I mean, I guess, I'll switch you up here. We'll give everyone some Oran Berries. Having really bad time with my controller today. Let's give everybody orange berries. Why is my controller acting this way today? Oh, 
Okay, a sand slash. I did not expect that. That's okay though. So we have our 22 encounter. Let's see what our route to encounter will be. I think we said we have to go to the artifacts, right? Either the artifacts or the Mew. Really quick, let's run into Viridian Forest and just see what our counters here are. Ooh, there's a Mew here. Okay. Let's um change the time and see if there's still a Mew here or if there's something different. Mesprit, meh. Your deer isn't bad. Okay. Yeah, so let's go get the artifacts then here. Uh, we need to be day, dex nav, register. Your name is going to be Frosty. Let's go catch up some you. Let's change it to night. Now, there is a new section in the forest here. We are not going to count that as a separate encounter, even though I'd love to. Um, we're just not, just to keep things kind of reasonable. Um, we're going to name you... Okay, so, so far, not too bad. Let's go see what their abilities are. Let's grab you. Let's see, we have Mew and Artibax. Obviously, Mew and Artibax will, or, um, ooh, Sword of Ruin. That's great. Sword of Ruin. And Receiver. Kind of a junk ability, but that's okay since you're going to evolve eventually. <laughs> okay, let's rare candy you guys all up. Okay. We really don't have to worry about the first couple of trainers here, so our next rival is going to be Brendan. He has the Corefish and the Trico. Um, I'm not super worried about it, to be honest. See what your move sets are. Like to pound, transform, Mega Punch, Tackle, Dragon Breath. So kind of junk, but that's okay. Let's just go and clap Brendan. So some of these battles are pretty, just like gimmies, honestly, like this one. Um, but things will get harder as we move along. Okay. And uh, we should be able to get to Brock in this first episode here today. Okay, this is kind of our first challenge, if you will. Um, so she has uh, not super easy to defeat Mon. As you can see, they are quite bulky. And then Adino is going to yawn, wish, blah, blah, blah. Um, let me see. Let's send you out. Cool. Okay. That was done. Awesome. Okay, so now we have the infinite repel. Now I don't have to worry about um, bad catches unless it's the darn fishing encounters. Okay, let's take this girl in the teeth. And now 
go get uh, ElectroWeb. You know, we know that Mew can learn that. I'm actually just really curious here. Okay, Piplup, Charmander, uh, Cordilly. Doesn't really learn anything early game. Uh, okay, yeah, I think, I definitely think we get the better then of that exchange getting the Mew. I feel much better about that. Okay. And now we get to go up here. Um, so there will be two more encounters that we get. Um, first, we get uh, one in Diglett's cave over here. Let's see. Okay, so there's a Hoopa, a Ralts, and an Iron Tread. The Iron Tread. That could be awesome. We shall see. Let's uh, let's change the time here today and see what we got. Okay, so back to Excalibur. Um, let's see. I mean, Perserker is not bad. I do like me a Perserker, but I think I have to... I think I have to go Iron Treads here. I just think it's a better play. Ooh, and Iron Treads has Intimidate. That's good. I'll take that all day long. Um, you are going to be Rubber. Okay. So that's one encounter there, and then Pewter City we get a second encounter. So, let's see, Rapidash. Pikachu. Okay, nothing, nothing stand out yet. I mean, Cloud Sire is not terrible, but he's also not super useful early game. I think I have to go Flapple here. Just because he just feels like the best option. I need me Krabby as in Crab Apple. Okay. And with that, ladies and germs, we are going to round out, I think, the first. Well, no, I guess let's let's get everybody leveled up um, and see what we have from a move pool perspective. Um, then we might be able to go kick Faulkner in the teeth really quick before the episode ends. So let's let's see what we can do here. So we get Leech Seed. That and dreads. So let's see what moves. Okay, you have sticky hold, so flapple, sticky hold, which is good and bad. Um, not great for uh, um, knockoff users. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Come and do some nature changes. You need to be modest. You also need to be modest. Um, you should be. You should be. So you're modest. You are adamant. Let's see. What's your stat distribution? Oh no, you're a physical attacker, so you should be adamant. Pretty sure, yeah, you become a special attack in the end. So you need to actually be adamant. Okay. Let's come back here. Let's grab these mods out. Just make sure that everybody is correct on their natures. Definitely adamant, yep. attacker so you need to be adamant you become a physical attacker so you need to be adamant and then for right now you're gonna stay adamant okay, so just adamant. let's just take a quick peek we'll uh, uh 
take a quick look here. So we want our Giotto leaders. We want Faulkner. Um, okay, so we have Rufflet. Let's see. So we have Rufflet. You're going to get just bodied by... Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty confident that I can just go and stomp Faulkner with um, Thunderous. Let's see. You're going to be weak to that stuff. You're weak to it. So yeah, let's go stomp Faulkner in the face. And we'll go... Dang. Okay, so you have one. It's fine. Roost. And we'll do a quick save. Okay. And then for our next episode, we are going to be facing Brock. Let me just head back to the Pokemon Center. We'll heal really quick. And then uh, we will sign off. And I will see you guys in the next one where we will kick Brock in the teeth. Save. Awesome. So thank you guys for watching today. Like I said, uh, keep an eye out. This series will be posted uh, a couple times a week, hopefully. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like the content. Until next time. Peace.